So today I'm riding again um, on the board that I <laughs> I crashed at 32 miles per hour. This little board, I think this is the Evo 33 or is it the 36? I mean, it's a, it's a real, yeah, Evo 36. It's a real short board. So it's like a mini long board. Um, the problem was I was using these MBS wheels and, you know, I was like burning out and you see like the tread is all worn out. So it, it just makes it very unsafe. And I think that's how I slipped even though I don't actually remember what exactly happened because I um, blacked out. Anyway, um, today I just want to talk about torque board, uh, the 6355 motor. I was actually using the Flipski 6354 motors and then I switched to the torque motors. The only, the real difference between a Flipski um, motors and torque motors is that uh, torque boards are open. You see that it's, um, so it, it cools better. Um, so you get more power. You can get a lot more power out of it. I notice it's really fast. Um, between this 6355 and a Flipski 6374, I would say power is almost about the same. Um, the, these are so fast. These are, I think, just ideal. I know six, you can go 6374 torque uh, motors. I actually have them also. I'm going to build a new. Um, but this is plenty power. Uh, and I can, you know, I've crashed at 32 miles per hour, but I've gone like 35 miles per hour. Um, I think my top speed was near, near 35 or 36, 37, something like that. Anyway, very, very good setup. Um, you can also run 12S, which is really nice. Uh, so with, with 12S, you're running at uh, almost um, 50 volts. Uh, so you, you get more power out of it because, you know, these things... Uh, designed um, to handle amount of current so the more volts you put in um, the more power you can get out of it um, I've got 12 s 2p battery on here this one does about uh, like 12 miles um, which isn't too bad it's, it's a pretty small battery but it's, it's very light you know you, you could put a much much bigger battery 12 s 3p 12 s 4p 12 s 5p but you know I, I never really need that much range because <laughs> I'm just riding around my neighborhood. I'm never gonna like, you know, go more than five miles and come back. So it's it's just a perfect range, I think. Around 12, anything around 12 to 15 miles, I think is ideal. But I am gonna build, you know, with off-road skateboards, you need a lot more power. Anyway, um, back to the point. The, the, I love the 6355 because you, you get a bigger motor, but the width is not big. So you can use smaller trucks, which keeps uh, the overall, um, width also smaller um just this board is just very portable um that's why i actually prefer it over my 637 for uh a skateboard which i put it on my electric ice uh, icebox electric skateboard because um i don't know it's i like i don't know with with the bigger boards it's just hard to carry around this one I, it's like slightly bigger than boost at mini s but i can literally just just hold it right it's, i think it's uh, like 20 pounds or something you know yeah I think yeah, maybe less than that. Also, you can just just you know just drag it along too, right? Which is really nice. And another design feature I put is obviously put the motor underneath um, instead of putting it out there. If you put it out there, what will happen is you'll you know you'll if you don't have motor guards, um, you'll end up like banging the crap out of your motors. So that's why I put it there. Um, yeah, this is my favorite board, and uh, I'm gonna actually put some different wheels obviously these wheels suck um i do suggest for safety if you want to go fast i do i actually don't recommend any urethane because urethane just means you know they're not designed these urethane wheels when they designed them they were designed for skateboards like longboards that were going like you know a five miles without electric motors so when you go uh, faster than like 20 miles per hour if you hit any kind of wet surface i've crashed really badly uh, where I hit like some oil spots uh, with the urethane. So um, you have some rubber options, rubber air-free tires. Um, that's probably what I recommend these days. Uh, or yeah, rubber tires that's, you know, for, 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 for actual roads, not, not off-road, even though those you can also go off-road. Anyway, um, Torque Board 6355 motors, I highly recommend them. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper than 6374. Again, um, you're going to be able to find trucks easily. It's going to work on most trucks, most standard size trucks. Whereas 6374, you're going to have to put the motor diagonally <laughs> on a truck like this. Or you, you'll have to uh, put bigger trucks, which adds to overall weight. But yeah, I just want to share that with you. Uh, torque board, 6355 motors. 
uh, very durable. They're they're open, so I wouldn't use them for like off road and stuff. But if you're just riding street, you want a really fast uh, motors. Um, in in terms of power output uh, ratio, uh, power output to weight, I think these are way more efficient than six three seven four. Um, yeah, so definitely recommend it. Another feature I have here is actually I have this is actually a metal plate. Um, so it's it's a, a heat sink, and then I attached the VESC with uh, Arctic Silver, you know, the CPU, um, because so that will transfer the heat. Before I did that, I would have problems where you go going up, up these huge hills around my house. I mean, I live on these these crazy hills because my, you know, daily city is a city right next to San Francisco. So we have, you know, pretty much the same hills. Um, so you definitely need them. If you're riding on flat ground, you don't really need to do that because you'll never use that m amount of um, torque. So going up hills, um, you absolutely need um, stuff like this. If you're going up a mountain, you need to actually cool your vest somehow. Uh, anyway, I just want to share that. I have more videos coming. I'm gonna. St I'm, I'm obviously going to start skateboarding more, electric skateboarding more. And anyway, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.